Hello, welcome to The Pit Stop, the only show that spills the tea on all things RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars 3. I'm so excited to be here today with one of the Heathers, one of the finest contestants in the history of RuPaul's Drag Race, and that is, of course, the incomparable Manila Luzon. Hello, oh. how are you? Thank you, Your Majesty. Welcome to my home. Oh, thanks for having me. Of course. The pleasure's all yours. <laughs> it's true. Uh, you look amazing. Thanks. Girl. How many Golden Falcons had to die? Um, for this? Surprisingly, only a half of one. It was a baby <laughs> one. They're actually quite large. They're and they have huge. a lot of feathers. Yeah. What do you think the expectations are here? Because All Stars 2, I think, was really dynamic to watch, and that's not just because I'm biased and I was inside of it. But it was really good, right? So, I mean, is All Stars 3, like, do you think they're gonna step it up? Do you think they're gonna um, top it? I think so. Well, I think what's, um, what's interesting is that they're following the same format as All Stars 2. So I feel like the queens already kind of have a better idea of how to uh, perform and how to compete. And something's going on with those women in the strange white hats w roaming about. Oh, I don't yeah. know what's going on with that. Those handmaidens. I'm gonna keep tuning in to find out what's going on with those, oh, really? those is that, two is that charming, be, beautiful young women. Is, uh, is that gonna be like an ongoing thing? I don't know. Only time will tell. Tick tock, tick tock. So let's talk about the entrances into the workroom. Okay. Well, I loved Trixie oh. coming in looking like roller skate and Barbie of from the nineties. Of course, 90s. she came in on roller skates. Can we talk about Kennedy's entrance? Can we please talk about the hair? She had a pineapple tree. She had a full-on palm tree sticking out. I don't oh. know. It defies gravity. I don't know. Aja looks amazing. Aja really, really does look amazing. I'm really excited that Aja's back because she was on the last season and mm. she's still really fresh and new, but she's come back with all the experience of, oh, this is what I look like on HDTV. Okay, Chi Chi Devane, she wore uh, trash bags. Which did not look like trash bags. Not at all. So if she didn't say they were made from trash bags, I would have thought it was the most beautiful silk organza. <laughs> And also, there was Ben de la Creme, who she got crowned Miss Congeniality in the dress and repurposed it into what she wore into the workroom. I think that was a cute nod because it was the, the last time we saw her, she was in that gown on mm -hmm. that giant stage. I love calling back on referencing yourself on the show. Shangela and the box. The Shangela's box is now a Tiffany's box. And she it said so hallelujah cool. on her, of in course. case you didn't know. <laughs> What her catchphrase was. <laughs> Hallelujah! That f I'm not allowed to swear on this, am I? You can swear all you like, honey. This is this is the internet. <laughs> okay. We get our first twist right off the bat. Bibi Zahara Benet is back in the workroom. Gagger. Gagged. Gagged. Gagability. No one even thought that was even possible. Gagaroon! <laughs> BB is back from 2009. She was, that was the last time she was on Drag Race. So, I mean, nine years? Yes. That's a lot, a lot has changed. A lot has changed. I mean, a, many people haven't seen season one. Because right. it's the elusive season. It is. So, I'm happy because I would love to see more season one queens. And if that is BB Zahara Bunet, then so be it. Cause she slayed, she's like one of the best. I mean, she was the best on her season, so it's nice to see her come and, you know, slay. And we have our first mini challenge, which is the reading challenge. So right off the bat, they start reading each other. I think there were a few clunkers. Yeah. Uh, I think Thorgy delivered a few clunkers. I thought Ben de la Creme was hysterical. Really good. Yeah. And I like reads that are framed in like, I'm giving you a compliment, but then it comes back around. Yeah, and it bites you in the ass. Yeah, and that's like totally Ben's thing, is like, I'm gonna be so nice, but I'm actually really kind of rude. And that's a great read, right? Because you, yeah. sh you when you get read for filth, you should like not know that you're being read right away. Now, in the workroom, we see Morgan McMichaels talking about sending the strongest queen home first. What do you think about that strategy? The strategy is a very, very good strategy, but it's not a good idea to tell everyone in the room 
Loud You're and proud. Loud and no, proud. Loud, loud and proud. She's like, I'm going to get rid of the strongest <laughs> com competition. So if I get rid of you, I'm sorry. Everyone was shooketh. I mean, they were deeply shooketh. I mean, I, I like the fact that Morgan's there because she is always gonna tell like it is. She's gonna she's not afraid to start fights. No one wants to see a bunch of queens braiding each other's wigs and singing Kumbaya. Let's talk about the variety show. Do you think the girls played to their strengths? I think so. I mean, it's kind of tough because it's a lot of like apples to apples kind of situation because a lot of these queens are lip syncing performer dancer queens. So you're yes. going to see a lot of the same thing. I yeah. really like Trixie's performance. She did something different than everybody else. Yeah. Which... She didn't go out there singing about how she's sickening and death dropping and, you know, gag, gag, gag. I'd Which walk, is great. Walk in a circle, walk in a circle because everyone else did that. Let's talk about Aja's death drop. I mean, on episode one, you cannot hold back. You don't know if you're going to be there long enough. Girl. So if they're saying, show me what you got, you better show them what you got. And she was like, I'm going to walk up the stairs. I'm going to make sure everyone wonders if I'm going to jump off this thing. And then, shabam! You know, I loved it. Kennedy, Kennedy Davenport. was slaying. Kennedy was hucking and bucking and twirling and doing all the old school moves. She, she jumped onto the, she danced onto the platform. Yeah, she flipped onto the platform. Oh. Yeah, I mean, Kennedy don't play. All the oh. other girls uh, are trying to do what Kennedy does, which was amazing she to see Kennedy. She invented it. She didn't invent it, but she does it the best. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I really loved Milk's outfits, because, you know. So good. It's so cool. And like a magic trick. Like, I always think drag is a magic trick anyway, but it literally was like, how are they sticking on? I'm gonna say probably it was Velcro. Chi Chi Devane with those booties. The, the costume was great, but those booties ruined the, the whole thing. The shoe was perplexing. <laughs> and uh, you know, those girls are smart because in the dressing room getting ready, no one was like, girl, you're not gonna put on a boot. You're not gonna <laughs> yeah, put on a heel. Shady they were like, queen. let her go, just let her do let it. Her do just her let thing. her do it. So which do you think this elimination choice was based off of? Do you think it was, I want to get rid of the stronger competitor? Yeah, for sure. Especially because Morgan Michaels was going out there shooting her mouth saying that she was going to kick off the strongest competitor and that's how it should be. So if she finds herself right. on the bottom, then bye girl. It was definitely foreshadowing. Foreskin shadowing. Foreskin shadowing. When the foreskin's so big that she like crashed, You have to contour it. Shadow. <laughs> Based on this first episode, who's the front runner? I think Trixie because I I feel like the queen with the biggest hair should always win, right? Right. Yes. You know. Also, Bendela Creme I think killed it straight out, and I think she's also underestimated, which yes. kind of works to your advantage. Yes. Thank you so much for coming by. It's been amazing speaking with you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching The Pit Stop. Make sure you tune in next week for an all new RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars Season 3. Bye. You do that so perfectly. Thank you. I appreciate you. Yes. I Raj, appreciate you. Raja, you look so different. I know, right? Great. Yeah. Love it. <laughs>